<laughs> this is one of the worst answers, and this is something he's had months to prepare for. Yeah, what and this is it? the best you could do is maybe it was. Maybe it was. I, I don't, don't know. know. Of course it could be. <laughs> I went I went to, I went into a swimming pool the other day. It was filled with my laptops. <laughs> it was just a giant swimming pool of old laptops. I don't know how they got there. I have so many la- Russian hacking? Through, uh, yeah, Russian hack could be Russian hacking, could be people yeah. from Zarkon. Right. Could be Zarkonians. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, I mean we're Canadians? Talk- <laughs> I don't know the damn Canadians could have done this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. All I know is I go through <laughs> eight to ten laptops a day and I don't know where they go. They just all disappear and go into various uh, various <laughs> IT people's hands. Uh, who Every knows how they I get there? Every time I give one to an IT person, I just leave it there. <laughs> Could it be mine? Yes. I don't know. Of I course. didn't know they, they can fix laptops. I was just turning them over. I thought it was like a hazardous <laughs> substance. <laughs> like, I, a, like a I toxic the, sludge. The geek squad just ate them. <laughs> That's what I thought they did. That's what I thought. <laughs> I thought... I thought Jeff Fisher worked there, and he just, <laughs> just ate them yeah, when they like, came in. They're so crunchy. I mean, you know, who could resist? I mean, part of this, oh, I, I do appreciate the fact that the question was asked, and I should, so I should I. lead with that. Yeah. However, I will say, at, I, I, and I argued this during the campaign, I can understand why you would be skeptical, especially if you're in the media, of like Rudy Giuliani coming out with a found laptop a week before an election. Mm -hmm. I can understand why Mm -hmm. there'd be skepticism on a story like that. In fact, the storyline of how it got to the IT person that was left there and then it like it all seemed very questionable. Mm -hmm. All of that being said, no one ever asked Hunter Biden whether it was his his laptop before the election they didn't even say like look okay i can understand you're not going to confirm or deny every salacious detail here but can you tell us did you did you drop off a laptop at this place i mean that's a totally legitimate question Mm -hmm. that if he says no to it at least you'd say okay well he's denying it completely they didn't even get him on the record with a denial yeah they did all they said was we can't believe these tactics they kept going back to that same well all these tactics. They're just trying to make a scandal right before the election. Yeah, okay, but did you drop it off with this guy at this address? Were you ever the, the one that just happens to be a couple miles from the train station you'd be getting off all the time? The one with all of your emails in it? Right. Like they keep quoting your emails. How how do they how do they do that? How do they get the video of Russians, you doing things? Uh, Canadians? Deep fake? Well, I think the Canadians were working with the Russians. <laughs> And the Mexicans, and they went after my lap- laptop and put a whole <laughs> bunch of fake emails in there. Hacked it's them like, right into it. I mean, I so it's stupid. inexplicable. It's so stupid. And, you, and there's no, I mean, the follow up of like, could it be yours? Well, how about, you know, could, look, they say you dropped off a laptop. Forget whether this is your laptop or not. Did you drop one off at this place, at this address, with this phone number and this business name? Might have been a good question. Like, can we get. Yeah. And obviously, of course, the real reason he's not answering it is because he did. Mm-hmm. And it was his laptop. And the fact that they actually were banning the New York Post's Twitter account mm-hmm. over a story that obviously, when you watch this interview, was true. I mean, we thought it was true before. Mm-hmm. But obviously, this was his laptop. These things were on his laptop. And they just decided to ignore it so that at the end of the day... Donald Trump would not be president anymore. I, 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 I'm not a person who always says that, but like it's clear they saw a narrative from 2016. And I, you know, I, I read enough. It's my job to read the left wing media so you don't have to. And I read enough left wing media to see they had constant complaints for the four years of the Donald Trump presidency that they believed. Again, this is insane, but I'm going to lay it out for you. They believe they were too tough on Hillary Clinton in the in the campaign. They believe they gave too much oxygen to various scandals like the email scandal, and they believe the reason Hillary Clinton lost was kind of their fault because they they decided to be, in their view, honest and cover these uh, emerging scandals that were being talked about and, and that were out there like the email scandal. And so they believe this time we can't let that happen again. And you, some of them talked about it outwardly. That like w- when the, when the when the right comes up with their scandal last minute, we need to ignore it because last time we did it, and look what happened. That is the way they viewed 2016. So in 2020, 
So when this it was came successful up, for him, too. They did exactly mm-hmm. what they said they were going to do for four years. Completely ignore mm-hmm. it and not even try to vet whether it was a real scandal or not. And now here we are a year after, or six months after the election, and they are now admitting that they should have been asking those questions. Why are they asking them now? Why are they bothering with it now? Now that the guy's already president of the United States, now you're going to ask the question about the laptop? They were so invested in removing Donald Trump with any means necessary that they just intentionally ignored this. And they did. And they they mm-hmm. talked about it. They admitted it. And they executed that uh, way of doing business without shame. Without shame. And here you see that obviously the ramifications of that is it worked. Donald Trump yeah, isn't president did. anymore. So you know that that's going to be their plan every time now. You got to believe it. They're just going to ignore any scandal uh, that is coming from the left. They just won't pay any attention to it. They won't give it any oxygen. Uh, it did work this time. It's hard to argue with that. They didn't talk about they didn't talk about Hunter Biden at all. In yep. fact, they made it a conspiracy theory. Yeah. If you believed anything was wrong with him, that he did anything wrong in Ukraine or China or this laptop thing, if you believe any of it, it was just a big conspiracy theory. Well, now all of a sudden they're starting to look into some of it and they're finding out that the guy's a bald-faced liar Mm -hmm. and a drug addict who maybe he doesn't remember because he was so (laughs) drug-addled. Maybe maybe he doesn't know because he was so wiped out on drugs. He he admitted that he relapsed as as late as during the campaign last year. Mm. During the campaign. And this sucks, man. I mean, this is a tough thing for anybody yeah. to deal with. And and it's I'm terrible, sure it is. You know, okay, I'm sure it's hard for Joe Biden to deal with. His sure son is. is a disaster. Yeah. His son is a disaster, and that's not easy to deal with. It's but it not. is it is easy for the media to deal with something like this. I mean, this is a guy who is returning rental cars with lines of drugs still, still on the dashboard. On it. <laughs> Again, do your drugs when you rent a car. Well, do all the he drugs. He left a line or two for uh, for the nice rental company people. Like a tip? Yeah, like a tip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I left you, Snort whatever's left on you the a dashboard. couple of lines of coke there, so enjoy that, won't you? <laughs> He's had a really <laughs> tough time. He's been impregnating strippers all around the nation. <laughs> exactly. Uh, he's been on, like, the impregnate stripper tour. Uh, <laughs> he's been involved with his, you know, with his brother's widow. Oh, my gosh. It really is his brother's ugly. widow's sister. And then the stripper in Arkansas with the baby. Look, family, Unbelievable. family stuff can be really <laughs> difficult. And, I, and you know, they've had a kid die. There really is a, a rough road here for the for the Biden family over the years. I mean, this has been a, yeah. a really rough, yes. bumpy, ugly road. And it's not about, even though at times we may mock Hunter Biden, it's really not about that. It's about the media holding them responsible for their criminal actions. Did they occur? We don't know because no one asks the questions. You know, you could go through uh, Peter Schweizer's book and see a lot of things that I would call criminal, oh, and they're all like documented. A bunch of things. Yeah, I mean, and he, not just with Hunter, mm-hmm. but like the whole family, the whole the family, whole stinking family. His brother is another big one in that. His brother, uh, his daughter. Yeah, it's all over the place in that uh, family. Yeah. There's lots of corruption. They've been using power in ways that I don't feel comfortable with for a very long time. That is the me- the media's job is to ask those questions and not wait till April. Mm-hmm. You don't ask the question in April. I mean, it's better than not asking it at all, I suppose.